Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, today our video about this uh, false rabbi who claimed to be a rabbi. Obviously he grew up in Israel. And then for some reason, I don't know, some they are saying he married to a Muslim woman from Indonesia. I'm not sure. <coughs> and uh, this is one of the things to prove that he cannot be a rabbi because uh, a Jew is not allowed to, uh, to, to marry from non-Jews. However, I'm not sure really if this is the case, but he is living in Indonesia right now. And this is explained a lot why he is being a potato for the Muslims. And actually, he is no one, but just to show everybody how we can, like, like we can make the, the potato mashed, and we can smash the liars. Uh, in this video here, a Muslim he called, and he is asking him to compare between the Muslim hate to the Jews and the Christian hate to the Jews. And for sure, as usual, he said, uh, first of all, that Muslims, they break the month of Ramadan fasting with him every day, which is against the Jewish teaching. Uh, for the Muslim, food is not a kosher for the Jews. Uh, but it's kosher for the Muslims, right? And in the same time, a Jew is not allowed to celebrate any kind of pagan religion with non-Jews. Ramadan is nothing but a, a pagan practice and this guy obviously he is inviting people to his house maybe uh, because his wife she is a Muslim uh, now in this video he attacked Christians as usual and he said that the Christians are the most people who hate uh, the Judaism and for sure the Muslim he called him and he asked him about uh, uh, what happened in Germany etc like well, how many how many Jews the Christians killed in fact what happened in Germany, it was the Christians fighting the Nazi and the army of Hitler was the Muslims, not the Christians. And all of us, we know the story, how many hundreds of thousands of Muslims from the Ottoman Empire and Bosnia and uh, uh, Sarajevo exactly, and from Albania, etc. They joined the Hitler army to kill the Christians and to kill the Jews. So this idiot, he's obviously, he have no honor and he have no dignity. And here I saw that he have an email. He posts his email here, as you see. Somebody asked him for his email. So he posted his email. Do you see it? So I decided to send, to send an email for him, challenging him to debate me. And let us see if he will dare to do it. The email is ready. I'm going to send it in the front of your life. All right? And you can read the email, you know. I saw a few of your videos saying big lies about Islam. In other way, I understand you live in a Muslim country, so you are being their slave. However, keep going in defending as you wish, but do you dare to debate me? Uh, I'm telling him here we can do it in Skype. Uh, we can use a Skype. All right, let me fix that. And you can broadcast on YouTube. Now let us see if this coward, he dare really to accept the debate and I'm going to click send. And let us see if soon he will give me the answer back and he will accept to debate me. But I think you know that this coward, he will never dare to say yes. For he's a potato and he is fake and he is false. And nobody actually watches video except Muslims. You can click at each name of those who they are posting under his video. You will see all of them, they are Muslims. Specifically, mostly Ahmadiyya. Because Ahmadiyya, they love those perverted-minded uh, uh, so-called Christians or even Jews. Because you can find those exist between us. Those who betray the truth and join the devil forces just for the sake of their own benefit and obviously because he live in Indonesia maybe he have a business there selling jewelries so he wanna he wanna stay alive and actually even in this video the Muslim he said to him let me click at send you will see that the one who calling him is Muslims and the Muslims they love him to death and even they are worried about his safety brother <laughs> Isn't it Muhammad he said Time will come And 
if a Jew hide behind a tree or a rock, the tree and the rock will say to the Muslims, there is a Jewish behind me, kill him. And yet this filthy creature, he is defending Islam. I don't care really what you think about Christianity. You are no one and you, you are not even a number. You like it, you don't like it. 99% of the Jews, they are already Christians and they are the best of us, not only Christians. So I understand your hatred and I understand that you are really very depressed to see such a thing happening. And the Muslims are using him because obviously he is a good tool to prove something which does not exist. That Islam is a nice religion. And Mr. Rabbi, what his name, Rabbi what? Rabbi Tovia Singer is the best to prove it. Uh, let me tell you something about being a Rabbi or being a Jew. This face is not a face of a Jew and you cannot be a Jew. The Jewish people, they have certain look. You can go and search and you will see how the Jewish people look like. Blonde, blue eyes, green eyes, all of this is not a Jewish look. That means you are mixed big time with other people who have nothing to do with Judaism. The Jewish people, they have a small eye, certain face, you know. Uh, maybe I should post some pictures of how the Jews look like. And then you will see what I'm talking about. The Jews, remember, are an ethnic, not a religion only. So the ethnic, and they are against mixing with others. A Jewish person cannot marry from non-Jews. This is why they keep the same look. Those have nothing to do with the Jews. If you are a blonde, if you have a blue eyes, if you have a green eyes, don't fool yourself and believe that you are a Jew. Maybe today you are called a Jew because supposed your family before you, etc. But obviously you lost your ethnic and what is left is that the book you claim that you belong to. Let us see if he is going to answer me and accept to debate. But I am sure this coward, he will never do so. And for sure we will debate about all his claims regarding Islam and how good Islam is for the Muslims. And I assure you, I will make you history. And I will... I don't know what's your career. Or, you know, I don't think your career is about being a rabbi. Uh, who is going to hire a guy like this? I mean, seriously. This guy is a rabbi for who? I challenge him even to tell me he is a rabbi for who? I want to see he is a rabbi in which synagogue in the world. And how many Jews they go there. And how come all those who post in your video are Muslims? Why is that? Alright? Uh, and all the questions is against the Christians. And it's so obviously this guy, he have a mental issue. He loves to spread hate against Christianity. This is why the Muslims, they like it, you know, they love it, they enjoy it, but who care? However, I'm making this video just to show everybody that you are not a rabbi. If you are, you should accept the challenge. And I'm going to pause for here, here. If you dare to debate me. Say yes and be the man. I'm waiting. Actually, I, I posted already for him, not only the email, the post underneath. All right. You see my post here? I told him to add me, to add my Skype, Debate TV, and I'm waiting for you and don't be a coward. So let us see if this man is really a brave. Or he is a coward and he have nothing but a gas inside the balloon. Christ is Lord and Islam made by a dummy for the dummy like this rabbi. Thank you.